Here are the three main reasons to why I love FabFilter Pro Q3 so much and why I think it's simply fabulous, simply fantastic. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. We'll begin with something called dynamic EQing. If you've ever used a multiband compressor, you know, a compressor that usually works on three frequency bands, compressing the bass frequency spectrum, the mid frequency spectrum, and the high frequency spectrum, well, then you've kind of been working with a dynamic equalizer of, of sorts. <laughs> So you still have the versatility of a really powerful EQ with the power of a compressor behind you. Behind you? I don't even know if that's the right term. Okay, so let me show you a user case for this. Normally when I do music production, I don't really like working with loops, especially not with drums, because many times I want to do individual tweaking on the individual instruments making up the drum set. And then it's very, very nice if you have your drums multi-tracked, meaning you have the bass on one track, your snare on one track. Well, we don't have that when we're working with drum loops. And so when I EQ this stuff, you know, doing the EQs with loops, I many times cannot get the results that I really want. And I have to compromise. And sometimes I just have to accept that something isn't gonna be done. And it usually ends up with me switching off the drums or redoing the drums, which is sad because sometimes I just wanna save some time when I already have the type of drum loop I want with the type of sounds that I want. So let's take this drum loop for instance. Here we can see clearly when the bass drum hits, it's this massive chunk here, and the snare drum is over here. And the thing is, I would really love it if I could make it so that the snare drum only uses that spot around 200 hertz instead of the bass drum. Because right now the bass drum is going out all over that place and it's got a lot of energy around that point. Now I can easily EQ this away. However, here's a problem. I am now also cutting away 200 hertz away from the snare drum. And as you can see, that's where the snare drum has its body. And if I remove that, it's gonna sound really, really flat. And here's where the power of dynamic EQ comes in. Because if we look closely, we can see that the bass drum has a lot more energy around this uh, area than the snare drum. Well, the snare drum does have a peak point here, but what happens if I up the Q here a little bit? So I'm not cutting away that much, but then I press over here so we get another menu and make this into a dynamic EQ. Well, we can already see that every time the bass drum hits, something is happening in here. And so it's basically working like a compressor. And we can actually set the threshold for this. And we have a range of about plus or minus 30 decibels. So if I pull this point down, I can now make the equalizer work harder whenever the bass drum hits. And as you can see, whenever the snare drum hits, since that doesn't have as much energy as the bass drum around that frequency, well, we're not really touching the snare drum more than the point we've already pulled down. We pulled it down about two decibel, right? So we are removing about two decibels from the body of the snare. But with this dynamic EQ, we are now being able to remove even more of the bass body around 200 Hertz, since there's more energy there and this thing is working like a compressor. So suddenly we create a lot of room for the snare drum body to fill out. And so the snare drum body is now more emphasized. As you can see, it's a really, really useful tool to really sculpt stuff. And the thing is you can do this 24 times if you want and just keep adding these notes. And you can basically make these as sharp as you want having these work as dynamic EQs just to remove certain peaks when they reach a certain amount of uh, amplitude. Oh, it's so nice to have this. Are there any other plugins that can do this? Well, kind of. Clear Gem Productions go to EQ. It can do dynamic EQing. However, 
it only allows for two bands with that functionality. You still can't get close to this, but it is a really good plugin and you should go check it out. And if you're a beginner and don't wanna deal with all of this, everything that this offers you, and you just wanna learn how to use an equalizer, well, you can't really go wrong with GoToEQ from Cleveland Production. Now, the second reason to why I think that FabFilter Pro-Q is absolutely fantastic is the way that you can basically compare signals from one track to another. It's such a useful tool to have. So I'll show you how it works. Right now we have two channels, one with drums and another one with vocals on it. And they both have an instance of Pro-Q3 loaded. So I'll open up Pro-Q3 on the vocal track here. Now if I play it, I'll be able to see the vocal track. But sometimes when I'm EQing, I can clearly hear that there's a problem somewhere in the frequency spectrum, but I can't really localize it. I know that something isn't right, and this plugin will help you detect some of it. So let's open up the analyzer box here. And here we see something going on. We can see another instance of Pro-Q and it is actually the one loaded on the first track, the one with the drums. And so if we choose this one, then it's superimposed inside the spectrum view on the vocal channel. So this way you can compare the signal or frequency spectrum from one track right next to another one by having them superimposed like this. And if you look really closely, you can see that the plugin is highlighting some of the uh, problem areas where frequencies are trying to do the same work or where they're fighting a lot, which gives you an easy overview of how you should EQ stuff. I sh don't wanna say should, but it kind of gives you a direction on where you need to do some work on your EQing. The third, the, th the third feature that makes this plugin really, really stand out is frequency matching or EQ matching. Okay, so a very common uh, thing is um, take a singer, for instance. The night before a singer makes a recording or, you know, performs a vocal thing and records that. And the day after, he or her is he or her. They're listening to that recording they did and they're trying to record it and do the same thing the day after and they just can't get it to sound right. Well, EQ matching will give you an, an advantage because EQ matching can actually allow you to analyze the frequency spectrum of a previous recording and then make a little equalizer curve out of that so that you can apply that equalizer curve onto whatever you record later on. The, the thing is, I could mention every feature in this thing and it would be a reason to why I think it's so awesome. There are no other plugins that gives you this experience that you get with the Pro Q3. A lot of people have been asking me like, are there any, you know, alternatives? And sure, there are other apps that will allow you to do certain things. But so far, there is nothing that does everything like this. Nothing. There's nothing out there that does it like this. There you go. Three reasons to why I think that Pro-Q from FabFilter or Pro-Q3, I should say, from FabFilter is absolutely fabulous. And anyone would benefit from having it. But as I said earlier, if you're a beginner, then you should probably get something um, a bit more easy to start with. And Cleveland's go to EQ. I also recommend uh, like something like Seymour CQ if you like this uh, look, you know, with, um, with this with the notes like this, Zemours EQ does it also. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Now, if you wanna support me and this channel, like, subscribe, share the video because that's really helpful. And also, if you wanna support me in a financial way other than buying my music, it's available on Bandcamp, it's available on Apple Music, Spotify, all kinds of places. You can find all of the places where they're available if you follow the link to jakobhack.com slash music and you'll have the link to everything, including my documentary, which I suggest that you watch because I made it and I, I want people to watch it. And that's I, that, that should be a good enough reason. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Ho, ho. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull something down.